28. In the Holy Quran, the Almighty specifically addresses women when he asks them not to show off their adornments, except that is proper and easily apparent, and to draw their veils over their bodies due to the physical and biological distinctions that exist between males and females and their modes of attraction to one another. This is evident in today's world, where the disgraceful exposure of a sex appeal is catered overwhelmingly to men as opposed to women. By corporations and industries mindful of the manner in which their advertising and selling of products influence their purchasing behavior. Some feminist movements and media outlets portray the hijab as a depiction of oppression and slavery of women. While sadly it is true that some Muslim women are oppressed even though it goes against the teachings of Islam. The overall oppression of women happens in many different parts of the world regardless of the oppressor's religion or culture, even if they are atheists in faith. While one can say a particular government or group of people generally oppresses women, it is not truthful to say that Islam in general oppresses women. No Islamic laws oppress women who have every right to a decent life without facing aggression or abuse in any sort. If women were indeed granted their God-given rights, oppression would not exist in the manner that it does today. Unfortunately, Islam is not being practiced as it should be, even in Muslim land. Islam honors women, yet sadly across the globe, Muslim women fall victims to cultural aberrations that have no place in the faith. A Muslim woman who covers her hair or places her religion above worldly pursuits is sometimes labeled oppressed, but in reality, oppression is not defined by a piece of material over one's head, but rather by the weakening of the heart and mind. Liberation means freedom, but not freedom to do as one pleases. Freedom must never come at the expense of oneself or others. When a Muslim woman fulfills the role for which she was created to find God, build a relationship with him, and follow his guidance and commands, not only is she liberated, but she is empowered and honored. She is liberated and free from the shackles of society, the pressures and the unrealistic stereotypes and images dictated by the media. A Muslim woman who choose to cover their hair and dress modestly view the act as a right and not a burden. The constant Our prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.